White Page International is a global consulting firm with a diverse portfolio spanning across brand consulting, research and PR, brand strategy, digital brand management, brand publications, brand shows, conferences and events. The aim of the company is to create a substantial and lasting improvement in the performance of its clients and strengthen their brand value. White Page has played a pivotal role in scouting for India's most admired brands. This is an endeavor to recognize the most trusted and admired brands in the country. The fifth edition that you're about to see speaks great volumes about the brands that make such a major contribution to the economy. As a professor at six of the world's top business schools, I'm dedicated to world-class brands. They innovate around core benefits, the whole organization lives the brand at all customer touch points. They make it easy to buy through distribution and penetration. They make the brand famous and distinctive through relevant communications. And more importantly, they create superior profits and sustainable competitive advantage. Hello and welcome to our special series where we're featuring some of India's most admired brands. In today's episode, we'll be featuring a brand which is the leader in the direct selling space. Amway is an international brand and its India story started around 20 years ago. And since then, the brand has been growing leaps and bounds. So let's take a look at the journey of brand Amway. Amway India is a wholly owned subsidiary of Amway with its global headquarters located in Ada, Michigan in the USA. The company is the world's number one direct selling business based on revenue. The business of direct selling means that the company sells through individuals who make personal recommendations regarding the use of Amway's distinctive high quality products. Therefore, the company relies heavily on the role of recommendations, word of mouth in promoting the brands. Established in 1995, Amway India commenced commercial operations in May 1998 and has emerged as the largest direct selling FMCG company in the nation. Amway India's 600 crore rupee manufacturing facility in India, located at Nila Kotai in the Dindigul district of Tamil Nadu, is testimony to the company's commitment to make in India, make for India. Amway India sells more than 130 high quality and innovative products across wellness, beauty, home and personal care that help people live happier lives and helps Amway distributors build businesses and succeed. The popular brands in India from Amway are Neutralite, Artistry and Attitude. Under the able leadership of Anshu Budraja, General Manager Amway India, the group has scaled new heights and entered several new business segments. Your brand Amway. So Amway is widely acknowledged as one of India's most admired brands. How has been the journey so far to the top? And what are the factors in the past three to four years which have uh, helped the company strengthen its position further? Amway is a globally uh, number one direct selling company in the world. And it's been on operation for more than 55 years, you know, across 80 countries. And we launched our journey of Amway in India in 1998. And from there on, in India also, we are one of the largest direct selling companies in the country. We have anchored ourselves around two brands. One is the Neutralite brand, the other is the Artistry brand. So the positioning of Amway in India is about a nutrition, wellness, and a beauty company. When you talk about Neutralite, Neutralite is the number one global brand when it comes to vitamins, minerals, and daily supplements. And when you talk about Artistry, it's amongst the top five premium skincare products. And a lot of our brands are actually backed by science, technology, innovation, and research. And we are also very proud of the fact that we have got 1,150 patents. There are about 950 scientists which are working across 75 laboratories across the world. And to that extent, as in we really take pride in the quality which we you know, deliver uh, to the consumer. And the brand over a period of time has been developed more by our distributors. And we have got 550,000 active distributors who engage in direct selling. Now, you know, direct selling in that sense is selling to others and teaching others to sell the products of Amway. And that takes us to the space of micro entrepreneurship. It takes us to the space of self-employment and skill development. 
and therefore the goal for us is to make sure that we make our distributors as successful entrepreneurs. Few things which we have done uh, to make sure that our brand value is extremely strong in the context of the Indian market is the fact that we offer a money back guarantee on all our Amway products. Not only that, what we try and do as far as Amway brand is concerned is uh, upholding highest level of integrity and governance in the direct selling space because it's a new industry. Okay, it's not perceived very well in the Indian context. But a lot of things have now changed in the last 18 years since we have come into the country. And our goal is to uphold the rights of the consumer in the best interest as far as the organization is concerned. Also making sure that our distributors are accountable not only to the company but also to the consumers at large. And we relies more on word of mouth. So how is it different from a conventional FMCG setup? So I would say uh, we are a manufacturing and procurement and our distribution as in that entire value chain in the model is the same. Mm -hmm. Just the piece around direct selling which is the distribution piece is different. Wherein we sell through people, we don't sell through shops. And the people sell through personal endorsement, personal demonstration. And therefore to that extent I feel the consumer of today is not buying brands, the consumer today is buying experience. And you can influence a consumer today by his trust. And direct selling is all about trusting relationships. And that's what's different about direct selling company. It's about a people business. And that, to my mind, takes us a little different in terms of the space when we talk about direct selling industry. We do have a brick and mortar business too, as in we are proud to have 150 offices. We've got 60 warehouses and we deliver to 11,000 zip codes around the country. But being a people business, it has got high credibility, high demonstrability and high personal touch. Uh, tell us about fostering the culture of innovation in uh, the brand or in the company, in the organization. Starting from a brands and the direct selling model, mm -hmm. innovation is a way of life. As a team, we encourage all our 800 employees to be active live buyers in the organization. You know, when you are actively participating in the business, innovation comes as second nature. And it's not an outcome, it's actually a process. So that's one. We also have built in structured innovation portals wherein people can input on the ideas, they are deliberated, they are recognized, irrespective of whether we implement. Because what's important is to try different things and try things differently. And that's what Amway is all about. It's about innovating continuously and making it a way of life. What is your vision for the brand and what marketing uh, strategies and branding strategies would define the company going forward? See, our vision for Amway is to inspire people to lead a better life. Mm -hmm. And the pillars around which we work are winning with total experience, having winning partnership and energizing a culture. As in those to my minds are anchors which defines our vision. Now broadly speaking, like I said, the potential in the industry is huge and our goal is to ensure penetration. You know, if you look at India, the penetration of direct selling in India is only 0.4% to the total organized retail sale. Whereas if you look at markets like Thailand, China and Malaysia, the penetration is as much as 5%. Mm -hmm. And therefore the goal for Amway as a brand is to triple our turnover in the next 10 years. And you know, it's not just about the turnover, it's about building a sustainable brand, an environmental friendly brand, making it more aware, making it more credible and having the highest reputation and championing the cause of consumers in the country. So that's my vision of the brand. Sandeep Shah, CMO, Amway India, talks about the company's brand strategy. Tell us about your brand strategy. What is the USP of uh, Amway? And also any uh, unique digital advertising, promotional or marketing initiatives that you guys are planning on and any campaign that has lifted the brand's image? Yes, so our brand strategy is very simple. We identify consumer needs and bring in products or even develop products to meet those consumer needs. The hallmark of Amway is high quality, so that is non-negotiable. Right. Once we have that, then we deliver it to consumers through our distributors and uh, also help them uh, develop our stories which will appeal to consumers. If you talk about a campaign which has, a recent campaign which has really helped Neutralite go places is the campaign with our celebrity Farhan Akhtar. 
and it, it's very important to know that we have a very careful about choosing a celebrity for our celebrity brand Neutralite. It couldn't be just any celebrity. It had to be someone who's multi-talented, multitasking, who's physically fit, and who could symbolize the iconic nature of Neutralite. And that campaign with Farhan has really brought Neutralite to the attention of consumers and made them understand that, yes, supplementation is something which everybody needs. It's not only for people who are not well. It's to keep well and to keep healthy, you need to supplement your daily food. Uh, what is unique about Artistry? Artistry is a performance brand. It's, very, it's one of the top five premium skincare brands in the world. And it's really meant for the evolved woman uh, to help her look more beautiful. And it really delivers great performance and with tangible results. And that's what's magical about artistry. Well, that was indeed an inspiring journey of Amway India. It's time now for us to take a short break. After the break, we'll explore another such brand. Stay tuned. Welcome back to our special series where we're featuring some of India's most admired brands. Our next story is about Asian Heart Institute, a powerhouse brand in the healthcare sector. Let's take a look. Asian Heart Institute is one of the leading heart care hospitals in India. It was set up in 2002 with an aim to provide world-class cardiac care to patients. In just 15 years, the hospital has treated more than 3 lakh patients and has completed over 37,000 angiographies and more than 21,000 high-risk heart surgeries with 3,500 almost inoperable cases. Asian Heart Institute has a success rate of 99.83% in bypass surgeries and an overall 99.60% in cardiac surgeries. These success rates are among the highest in the world. Asian Heart Institute is equipped with 12 ultra-modern operation theatres 100 intensive care units, fully equipped modernized pathology services, imaging services like CT scans and MRIs, blood banks and cardiac ambulance services. The cardiac team at Asian Heart Institute is led by cardiac surgeon Dr. Ramakant Panda, who also happens to be the Padma Bhushan recipient. Besides being recognized for pioneering many techniques in cardiac surgery, Dr. Panda is also known for successfully operating high-risk cardiac cases that are universally regarded as inoperable. Asian Heart Institute is widely known as one of India's most admired brands. How was the journey to the top? I think it has been an incredible journey over the last 15 years since we started this hospital. And over the last uh, especially five to six years, we have been rated among the top uh, five heart hospitals and more so last five years we have been rated uh, number one heart hospital in many of the surveys. So it has been an incredible journey and it has been all because of uh, my teamwork and the team that has contributed to it. Asian Heart Institute is known to provide one of the best cardiac care treatments in India. So uh, what kind of technology, facility and patient care is your hospital providing? I think I believe that uh, more than technology is the people that contribute the maximum to patient care and the results. But however, we also have the latest equipments as well as latest IT infrastructure. The entire hospital is paperless and we have the latest equipment in terms of the cath lab, whether it is CT scan, MRI, the operation theater, the heart lung machine or ICU monitors and uh, other equipments. We have the latest and most advanced equipments that is uh, available anywhere in the best hospital in the world. Asian Art Institute has a high success rate in cardiac care. So what are the key factors which made this success and this achievement possible? Our uh, cardiac surgery results of 99% uh, 0.6% and bypass surgery results of 99.8% is among the best in the world. I think this is possible and also the same way the all other areas, there is angiography, angioplasty, critical patient coming to the hospital, our infection rate are among the lowest in the world and among the best in the world, you can compare anywhere, definitely where I had of any hospital in this country. It is uh, largely possible again from a very strong teamwork, 
but equally important that adherence to very strict system process and protocols. Every single treatment is very well defined. Every single doctor, nurse, paramedical staff is extremely well trained and they are very strictly monitored. And on a every monthly basis, we do a closed door meeting where every single patient complication results are analyzed. What other things went wrong is identified and corrective measures taken. I think this is the key to a success rate among the best results. Again, is a very strong team approach, very strong system process, protocol approach and intensive training and monitoring. These are the four things that has resulted in the best results among the best results in the world. From the political leaders to the entertainment industry to the corporate sector, Asian Art Institute is uh, considered an important part of the Indian medical diaspora. How do you see this success? I think it's um, largely because of the highest level of uh, care and the results we give. Today our results are among the best top three in the world, definitely the best in the country. That has definitely brought in a lot of confidence. Same time I must be thankful to all my high and mighty patients who have that much faith in getting treated in India, that to getting treated at Asian Heart Institute. If you look at it 25, 30 years back, almost everybody from India used to go outside India to get a heart care done. Today, uh, almost everybody, nobody wants to go outside because here in India, we are able to give the best results in the world. I think that is what is the reason why um, all, the, all these patients have uh, chosen Asian Heart at the uh, destination uh, for cardiac care rather than going outside the country. It is our the best quality care and the highest results that we are offering. Asian Art Institute is known for a, a surgery uh, which is done on a beating heart. So how is it different or less complicated or less riskier than the conventional way? While doing the surgery, you do not stop the heart. You just temporarily immobilize a very small part of the heart on which you do the surgery. It's called beating heart surgery. It is one of the Asian heart uh, is one of the pioneering uh, centers in the world in beating heart surgery. In fact, our beating heart surgery results are the best in the world. We have the highest number of experience in that. What you do is you only immobilize a very small portion of the heart and rest of the heart continues to function and supply blood to the body. And that only small portion which is just around one inch by uh, probably 0.7 inch is immobilized and you cut the artery and do the bypass. So what are the key success mantras of Asian Heart Institute? I think the um, key success or mantra is um, our core values which are ethics, expertise, excellence and experience. This is one of the very few hospitals in the country who uh, very strongly advocate ethical treatment to the patient. In last uh, 15 years more than 320,000 patients, not a single patient that has been treated here has been treated unnecessarily. Almost one third of the patients who have been advised treatment, uh, invasive treatment like angioplasty, angiography and surgery elsewhere who send them on medical treatment. So number one ethics, number two is also emphasize very quite a bit on the experience of our doctors. First we take the best doctors and we constantly encourage them to learn and uh, increase their experience, focus more on the patient care rather than spending time on marketing and meeting doctors to get patients. We said spend money, time with a patient, your patient are going to only refer cases to you. So we focus quite a bit on their experience of doctors so that they are the best in the available in the field. Third thing also we encourage all our doctors, our entire staff how to get excellence in patient care. Whether it is uh, the actual patient care, patient satisfaction, all of the ancillary areas we pay focus very significantly how to give the excellence in medical care to the patient and last thing is the experience of the patient. Every single patient would try to ensure that they go out happy. Tell us about your brand strategy and what is the USP of Asian Heart Institute? We very strongly believe in giving the best care, best result to the patient so that the patients are the biggest brand ambassador and a marketing agent in the, uh, in the country. In addition to that, whatever little uh, we spend on marketing and branding strategies, more towards bringing social awareness and bringing healthy habits of the population so that the incidence and the risk of heart disease is reduced in the country. We, every, we are the first, um, when the Mumbai Marathon started uh, 15 years back, we are the first medical partner and we are still then continuing giving a message to the society that leading a very healthy and active lifestyle reduces the incidence of heart disease. Similarly, we have a lot of other social um, 
in the social space we do a lot of awareness campaign. Currently we are going certain uh, campaign which the Honorable Chief Minister of Maharashtra recently inaugurated and uh, we focus more on that how to bring in awareness uh, about heart disease, reduce the incidence of heart disease, living a uh, lifestyle rather than spending more money in trying to attract patient, tell the patient to come and get treated us. We strongly believe that um, our patients, a happy and uh, very satisfied patient is the biggest brand ambassador and we have got almost 320,000 more than that in the country who talk good about us and uh, today almost 80% of our patients who come to the hospital are referred by one of our earlier patients. What is the vision of the brand going forward five years from now? Our vision is over the next five years for the world to know that India is the place to go for cardiac care treatment and Asian Heart is the place in India to go for cardiac care. That's all from us today. Hope you enjoyed these stories. We continue to bring you such inspiring stories on some of India's most admired brands. Thanks for watching. Yeah.